Oh. My. God. Well hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and to my <laughs> 300,000 mile Volvo XC90. Now, when the Audi TT turned up not too long ago from Copart, it was pretty messed up, but not so much that I thought I needed any particular help. So I went and cleaned this one myself and it came out pretty nicely. But when the XC90 turned up, it was a very different story. This thing is a bit of a mess, a bit of a state. And so I knew I needed to give my friends at Topaz and now Topaz Mobile a call and so they've come along today rob's here and they're gonna make this thing well not look brand new i think that'd be an unfair target but a lot better i mean there's not a lot we can do about the wing mirror but um <laughs> <laughs> i'm desperate to take the tape off actually and see what Something the damage is but yeah it's a bit of a mess it, what do you think we can get rid of some years of grime from that i think it should scrub up okay i think the main thing for me on this one is actually the interior because this is the executive model it came with these lambs wool carpets nice. so it's got these really sort of thick green carpets so i wonder if there's any way we can bring back the sort of plushness of so. those i think so and just in the, the interior in general is in quite good nick so i think that might come out quite nicely the yes. exterior let's see before you get any comments about the weather yes we know it's raining oh, i didn't even think of that yeah um, i mean this is july however we are due for a break for the rest of the day at about half past nine so we're gonna good do what we can do prep wise and then um, we'll get it dry for the interior fingers crossed So as you can see from the outside of the car, it is absolutely filthy. Now there's various things that we can't clean, obviously such as this huge dent and scratch there. It's a scratch there, there's another one on the other side as well. And also the wheels are very much in need of a refurbishment. They are beyond saving, but they should at least shine a bit brightly later once the guys are done. Cobwebs all over the car, because like I say, I'm not exactly sure how long it's been sitting, but it has been a number of years. But the thing is just completely filthy. So there's some solution on there to hopefully try and loosen up this dirt on the wheels. Although I wonder if this is slightly too much of a task for it. On the other side, starting to scrub. Are they coming up at all? No. <laughs> right up into the wheel arches there. That has probably never been done in this car's what, almost 20 year life. And on this rear left at least, the scrubbing seems to have made a nice big improvement. Looks pretty shiny to be honest, much shinier than it did about two minutes ago. So as I mentioned at the start of the video with Rob, I'm not as concerned about the exterior clean here because I, I very much appreciate how sort of far gone it is in terms of bodywork. Like it needs a lot of paint. It probably needs, you know, new door panels if I wanted to enter it into the Concorde Elegance. What I'm more interested in is the interior because I'll show you quickly. Inside, generally speaking, it still presents pretty nicely. Like the leather is in really good condition. There's no tears or anything on the driver's seat or even on the passenger seat. It's lovely. Got all the piping there. And uh, although it's a little bit of a mess, we've got these beautiful very thick and deep carpets here's one of them actually that's loose that's for the boot but you can see how thick it is and so i think with some of the topaz magic we might be able to get these feeling and looking really really plush again but yeah like i say it's just actually really not that bad in the inside so i'm very much intrigued to see how that comes out but the wheels although not perfect they are massively better there's only so much you can do and the middle part of the wheel has presented really nicely now here it's just so so much ingrained brake dust and dirt that that's not going to come off without some serious serious attention and we've got a whole almost three ton volvo xc90 to do in just a few hours so i do not mind So now the wheels have had some attention, all those little nooks and crannies in the door shuts and in the tailgate have been looked at. It's time to snow foam the car, probably the most satisfying part of any car cleaning video. So this is the pre-rinse going on. And apparently what this does is just helps that snow foam once we apply it to grip onto 
the paint work and obviously to agitate any dirt and stuff that's on there so it just essentially allows the snow foam to do a better job than it otherwise would so that's what this is going on now and then yeah we get to the good bit where we get to see it covered in snow foam So guys, remember how buggered the headlights were, especially this one. We've not even scrubbed these yet, but just the snow foam going over the top of it has like fully, look at this, fully cleared up the lights. I'm really surprised by that. They looked like they were gonna need a proper machine polish and they, they still could do with it, but just the snow foam running over the top has really uh, cleared them up. So things are looking up here. I always find it incredible the level of detail these guys go into. And you can see with the brush here, all of those rubber sills completely bedded in with moss and grime and dirt over literally decades coming out see that snow foam that was white a second ago is now very much green it just shows the amount of mess there is just hidden away in there look at that I know the car is still wet, but I'm sorry. Is it me or is this actually coming out really nicely? You know, I know it needs drying off, etc. but those headlights, I cannot get over how well they already seem to have come out. So now the xe 90 has been rinsed. Also had the Topaz Hydro Light, which is a liquid coating applied to the car. But all in all, I can't, I can't actually believe how well it's cleaned up. The thing that stands out to me the most so far are these plastics. Normally these are really just worn and they lose all their color. But in this case, they seem to be doing pretty well. They look brand new really, considering the age of the car. So I'm really happy with that. But also in general, apart from obviously the big scratches and dents down here, which I have to say are not as noticeable now. In general, the paintwork is is okay. And, and the color of the car is actually really nice. And I haven't really seen this yet. It's a shame about this scratch. It almost looks like it's been keyed at some point all the way down there. And if you saw my last video, the reveal of this car, you will know a little bit more about the history, but it's pretty patchy. Go and watch that video if you want to hear more, but yeah, I don't know where this car's been parked or whatever over the years, so it's possible it's been street parked somewhere, keyed, I'm not sure. And there's a, another scuff that goes all the way along the back here, which is a shame. But again, when you consider the mileage and age of it, it's uh, really not too bad whatsoever and looks much better than I expected it to, if I'm totally honest. Sorry, but this tape is really doing my head in, so I'm just gonna take it off. I know it's probably there for a reason. Well, it's definitely there for a reason. It's to hold the glass on, but it just looks so terrible and it feels wrong considering how much effort has been put into cleaning this car. It just looks awful. Let me just rip it here and then, so it's still doing its job, but it's not dangling about. That's better. I think once this is all done, I will actually have a proper look at this and try and work it out. Now it's time for the part I'm really excited about. We're gonna do the interior. I've just taken out the carpet in the rear boot area. And this part is the battery here. We're gonna hoover away in here. Look at all of this again. Probably not being touched for years and years and years. Yeah. Interesting. Don't think we'll need that. When you buy an old car like this and clean it for the first time, it's like a terrifying game of lucky dip. Luckily at the moment, it's just the carpets that have come out, although we have found an umbrella and an old mask, which is pretty foul. I don't know what else we're finding in here. Various bits and bobs, lots of leaves 
some pens. But yeah, needless to say, this has definitely not been done before. Already it's looking so much better. We're currently on the third row, the two seats in the back back. We've been going in literally cleaning out the cubby holes in there, under the seats, carpets, and the back of these seats as well. And it's just looking spotless back there, considering this seventh row of seats is probably the least used out of the entire car, I can only assume. And we've done this side. Look at how that seat has finished compared to the sheen of that one. I mean, that has cleaned up so well in it. Looks and feels so plush again now. These carpets as well. Even the back of the back row of seats looking lovely. This is even really thick carpet on these as well, probably because it's the executive model again. In here, looking really tidy. Now onto this seat. It's absolutely caked in grime and dirt and crumbs and all sorts of horrible things. Topaz Mobile have these very fancy, lovely vans actually that they bring along with them, um, covered with Ferrari FXXKs, McLaren F1s, it's a DB5. I see lots of the cars that they work on, but I think maybe after this, they might want to put a 300,000 mile Volvo XC90 on there. What do you think? Even if this car turns out to fail its MOT and it can't even be driven, it's worth keeping as like, it's like having a conservatory. You know, why do I need to do an extension on the house? I can just leave this parked here. There's more real estate in that car than there is in the house anyway. I just, it beggars belief, it's absolutely incredible that you can buy a car like this for literally scrap money, 500 pounds. So you guys know I was saying that the history is sort of limited on this car. Well, as cleaning under the seat, we've just found this Heinz barbecue sauce pack and the date of expiry on it is, I think, December 2020. I don't know what the expiry window is on these, but probably close to a year. So that gives me good authority that someone was driving this car around in either late 2019 or early 2020. Who would have thought a pack of barbecue sauce would give me a bit more information about the car's history? It doesn't come with any service history, sir, but there's lots of unused packets of barbecue sauce. What in is that? So just drawing your attention quickly to, well, the driver's area, firstly, down there. I mean, look at that. See the green carpet needs to come back in. I can't wait to clean that. The seat looking lovely, this plush leather, beautiful. But the steering wheel, I don't know if you can see, we've done sort of half of it, I say we, and left the other half as it was. And you can really see the difference. Look how shiny it is on the left-hand side, which has been untouched. And on the right, it's so soft and matted to the to the touch feels amazing and just looks completely different to the other side i don't know how well the camera will pick it up but amazing how much difference it's made even on the steering wheel it's really really good this is the part i've been waiting for the green mat
So that is my 300,000 mile XC90 pretty much done. Thanks so much to Topaz Mobile for coming along. And it's just unbelievable. I'm not sure if the camera fully does it justice, but the, the transformation quite literally is unbelievable. The headlights, even though they've not had a machine polish or anything like that, are so much improved. The paintwork, I can finally see that gorgeous color. It's almost sort of midnight blue. There's a sort of deep purple hue in there and it's really, really pleasant to look at. On this side, okay, you can see the scratches and dents pretty clearly now, but actually bits like this here, these will probably rub out with a little bit of elbow grease, maybe even some of the scratches we might be able to clear up a little bit. The only real thing on the outside that hasn't improved too much is the wheels, but they are in just such bad condition that it was never really realistic to expect them to improve that much. Although having said that, they are better. Around the back then, well, it could benefit from a new number plate. Maybe I'll treat it to that. I'm thinking I might probably remove that GB sticker as well. But again, the paintwork just looks fantastic here. Even all the plastics come out really nicely. Remember up here where there was just so much moss and dirt? Well, that's now completely clean. Window looks great. And round to this side, yes, again, we've got some scratches, some of which might be able to rub out a little bit. But again, the plastics just look really, really fresh. Quite surprised by that, because normally they get faded and you can't really get anything out of them when you clean it. But these look, you know, factory fresh. But inside the car is really where the magic happened. Are you ready? I mean, look at this. If you told someone that this had 307, almost 308,000 miles on the odometer, you wouldn't believe them. Look at the carpets, the green carpets, a couple of stains in there, of course, but it's really brought back the plushness of these. I genuinely feel like I'm gonna have to wear slippers now when I'm in this car. The seats, that shine from all the grease from years and years of people sitting in here and getting in and out has now gone. It's perfectly matte finish and feels so soft to the touch and the steering wheel as well. I really can't wait to drive this thing properly now and touch all of this really clean stuff. In the center, if we're ignoring the missing part here, the wood veneers have cleaned up so, so well. It looks really, really fresh again, so clean. And in the back, it's a very similar story. Again, those carpets, I just can't get over how gorgeous they are. They almost remind me of like a old Bentley or something. I do wonder if these are factory carpets. They, they must be, it'd be a very weird thing to retrofit, but uh, I, I'm obsessed actually with, with those carpets. And then if we look back to the third row, well, these seats look brand new. I mean, who knows how much these have been used, probably not all that much, but the cup holders, even they've been cleaned inside here, just looks brand new, immaculate, and it's just fresh as a daisy. You wouldn't believe this is the same car that we saw this morning. And in the back then, open the split tailgate lid. You can see the back of these third row seats looking really nice. And then again, more green carpet. It just finishes it off, doesn't it? Absolutely stunning. I'm mega, mega impressed with this. I can't, I can't believe it's, it's improved this much. It really is remarkable. To think that this XC90 was an auction car, presumably neglected, not wanted by someone, and now it looks like this. I mean, if you stuck it on a dealer's forecourt, you could probably ask quite a lot of money for it and someone wouldn't bat an eyelid because it really does look more than it's worth. There's obviously a number of changes I'd like to make. I'd like to say, I'd like to get some new plates. I'd like to have a proper machine polish at the headlights. Do need to get the writing. <laughs> need to get rid of the rid on the windscreen. We don't have anything strong enough to do that right now. Probably need some T-cut. And I do need to look at the wing mirror here on the passenger side. Also the wheels, maybe you can see if we can do anything about those. If not, potentially look for refurbishment or replacement, because it does need new tires as well. But then again, as always, it's a case of how far I go with this car. For me, the next step is really just driving it because I've not had a chance to do that. So if I drive it and love it, then I'll be more inclined to spend some money on it and, and keep it 
but otherwise this has been incredible here we are then i wasn't joking cannot wear those if i'm getting in oh my goodness look at this wow oh wow it feels so nice when you get onto a seat that's been cleaned it just feels so good so soft and supportive i cannot believe i cannot believe i knew it would you know clean up pretty well but when you saw the state of it earlier this morning i know i keep saying it but it really has surprised me how well it's come up look at the carpet down there the carpets in the back and all the seats okay the headlining is saggy and that's a bit of a shame the steering wheel as well just feels amazing actually yeah i mean even just down to the dials just super super clean yeah for me the, the green carpet is the absolute masterpiece of the day anyway there's lots more we could discuss but there's gonna be more volvo videos coming so if you enjoy this little series we're doing with the xc90 make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video because then i'll know that you like this car and want to see more content and please do comment below about your thoughts on it i'd love to hear what you think and um i genuinely am very impressed by the guys at topaz so huge shout out to them thank you so much for all your time and doing this incredible transformation on on the xc90 this is probably the cleanest car anywhere with over 300,000 miles on it i dare you to find me a challenge to that statement anyway thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all very very soon